Hey guys, Zogi Sanchez here and welcome to the channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I want to share with you guys my roster update. We are two weeks away from Theamine Horse Daddy actually coming out in the West. Pretty excited for it. My scrapper is just about ready. Scrapper. Oh, sorry boys, you didn't hear that. Un edit, edit this out, edit this out. Breaker, sorry, we are not obsessed with boobies. My breaker is almost ready for Theamine uh, 1617. I want to get him to 1620. We're going to be doing normal mode most likely. As I highly doubt that it'll get to 16.30 from where we currently are, you know, being a free-to-play player and all. So I don't think we're going to make that push right now, but eventually in the future, surely. And then as well, the top six will eventually slowly push up to 16.20 over time. So we can actually work on all of the, uh, what's it, 40, 40 set elixirs. So that's my whole goal with the breaker next week. Because right now he's sitting three taps away from 16.20 and all three of those taps happen to be on armor. So that is good as well. The weapon is sitting at plus 19, so 1620 item level. Once we get to 1620 on the breaker, I do want to push the weapon up maybe one more tap to level 20 so that I can actually get the blue white glow as that is really cool. And then maybe we'll go for the red glow after that. But that's the plan so long for the breaker right now. I'll log into the characters and show you in a sec as we just like cover over my top six for the moment. So there's been a lot of changes since the last roster update video is why I want to show you guys like this in the roster. So Breaker obviously, new main, 1617.5, we've got the Sork sitting at 1600, she is up from 1580 or something, whatever she was at last time. So she's actually running Ivory Tower, now we actually get to run three Ivory Towers a week now, which is really fun, because I do enjoy Ivory Tower. I just hope they remove one gate, because it is a little bit lengthy, but still one of my favorite raids. Definitely enjoy it more than Kyangle, so there's that. Sork is still 5x3, she has a bunch, I think she's got 5 level 9s on her, and then the rest are level 8s, and the Breaker also has, he has 4 level 9s on him, and the rest are 8s with 1 level 7 I believe. And then moving on to the Arnest, she is sitting at 1600 for a while now, just farming up materials on her, I'm probably going to hone her up to 1620 after the Breaker, just to help with the support shortage, and I really do enjoy playing my Arnest, she is my favorite support. She has level 8s and 7 event gems, 5x3, nothing fancy. Uh, she has a really good bracer though that gives her like 11,000 max HP, so that's pretty cool. Then we have our Bard sitting fancy at 1585. I believe she's one piece away from full Okan, or she might be full Okan. I believe the arrow and the Bard are like one piece away from full Okan gear. So I'm slowly going to push them up to 1600 eventually after the breaker is 1620 and has a bunch of elixirs and stuff. And we are ready to pump through Theamine. So Bard sitting fancy, 5x3 as well. She actually has perfect swiftness. Well, not perfect swiftness, but she has 1800 swiftness on the dot, which I really do like that about her. I, I just uh, like the, the little numbers and stuff. They, you know, they annoy my OCD or whatever you want to call it. So her having 1800 swiftness is cool in my book. She has level sevens as well, I believe, full level sevens. And then we come over to the Aeromancer. Now the Aeromancer is the one that might be Gulag soon for the Gunslinger for obvious reasons. The Gunsling has two very good assets that she brings to the table. If you know what I'm talking about. And I mean, the Gunsling is just my playstyle. Are the arrows fun and all? But uh, yeah, I don't know. I like the Gunslinger more. If I had to choose and the Gunslinger is very close, as you guys will see once we get to the second part of my roster. So she is probably going to be replaced with the Gunslinger. But probably you've seen like a few weeks from now because Breaker is still sucking up all my gold from all these characters. So she's sitting there, she has a 5x3 plus 1 Ancients and 7 and 8 Event Gems. And then we come to the Slayer, she's in full 7s, I believe she has 1 level 8 gem. 5x3 Ancient Accessories, no plus 1 yet, uh, 59 so she's full Arcan gear, I still just need a hone her up to 1600. I think she might be our next 1600 character, and then we'll go 1620 on the, on the artist after that, just so she can start running Ivory Tower as well, because I do like Ivory Tower. And Slayer is really fun. I don't think she'll ever leave my top six. So that's what the top six looks like. Now let's get on to the rest of them. So we spent a little bit of gold on the Gunslinger last week. As you guys can see, she is actually now 1575. So she's three pieces away from Akan. And also it is armor, just like the Breaker. So she's pretty close to Akan. But like I said, I'm spending for the next two to three weeks with funneling all the gold into Breaker just for Theomine to get ready for him and be prepared for him as much as we can. So she's going to have to sit tight for now, but maybe we get lucky next week with like a gold drop from uh, Chaos Dungeons or something like that. And we'll try and get her those last three taps to get her to a calm. She's 5x3. Uh, she now has level 5 gems because I stripped her. All my ults have level 5 and 6 gems now because I stripped them all to craft gems for the Breaker. So she's full level 5s, five, 5 by 3 relic accessories. Moving on to the war dancers, she's still the same with the old build. 
uh, the 5050 Spec Swift build. I still need to change her build around. Esoteric, uh, 5x3 as also a level 5. I think she has a bunch of level 6 gems as well. Then moving on to the Pally, he is 4x3 plus 1 Relic set, uh, Relic accessories, and he has level 7 cooldown gems. So he's actually got some juicy gems. I need to go take those off for him for the break here. Then we have the Scouter sitting at 1540. He's Evo Scouter, 2 level 7 gems. The spec is actually pretty low. I do need to rebuild him at some point. But we might try out AT Scouter much later down the line as that's, you know, with his way down the line. Right now, it's just a low pang slave, chaos dungeons, and helmeton. So that's all these guys really do. Moving on to my summoner, she is CO summoner. I do want to change her over to master summoner eventually, um, because yeah, she's actually pretty fun, kind of sort of. If you like arthritis, she like really swiftness summoner. Man, you gotta press so many buttons so so fast. So she's sitting there, 1533. She's a few taps away from 1540. I could get her there and park her at helmeton as well. My goal is to get all of my other characters on the roster so this uh, slot and slot three all the characters to 1540 by the end of the year so we'll see how that all goes uh she's five by three as well five by three. Oh, she has level five event gems level five event gems what the event that she came with and then we have sharpshooter now him i've actually been playing him recently i'm playing loyal companion on him five by three as well decent accessories and he also has level five gems i believe He's really fun, so I might start pushing him up slowly. I still need to get a few of the ancient barrel pieces that I'm thinking. He only has two ancient barrel pieces, maybe three. So I need to start running the barrels with you guys for free. You get the free boxes because I run them on my gold earners anyway. And then on page number three, we have my soul eater, which the more I play her, the more I actually like her. And I wish she was in my top six. So, but she's way too low for me to get her there. Maybe with the next Makoko Express, we'll juice her up and push her into the top six. But for now, she's sitting there. We're going to slowly build her up as well. She has, I think, two ancient pieces as well from Belshazzar, like the sharpshooter. So she needs to do with a few more. Uh, she's 5x3 as well, except the the Knight's Edge books, because I play the crit one on her. Um, doesn't I don't have it all the way leveled up yet. I haven't bought all of them. So her accessories and everything is set up. So she's basically 4x3 plus 2 at the moment. On The plus 2 is on Knight's Edge, because we still need to buy her legendary books. Once we do that though, she'll be 5x3. And also, I think she has a bunch of level 7 gems. Maybe 5s and 7s. So like a mix of them. I think she has about 4 level 7 gems on her. And then our Berserker is Mayhem. 4x3 plus 1 level 5 gems. He's just sitting there fancy. We need to actually run his first Brawl. These haven't done Brawl yet. Obviously the item levels. And these are just like my Giga Lopang Slaves. All of them are 4x3 plus 1. So we'll see how this goes. Maybe we'll start running them with the stream. You also tune in on the streams, twitch.tv slash augustent. We are pretty much live every single day from about 3 p.m. EST. So tune on in. I'd love to see you guys there. And then we have my Lancer. Well, Augie Lance, Glavier over in L version. She is also 5x3 plus 1 Pinnacle. She's on the old Pinnacle build. I still need to change around her skills and stuff. We're actually going to be doing that today on the stream. I'm going to be changing all of these old characters' builds because these builds are like very old. I haven't touched them in forever. So I'm going to go ahead and change all of their skills around to the new builds. Also level 5 gems. 4 or 5 I think. Moving on to the, the demonic orc or the shadow hunter. She is demonic. 4 by 3. No plus 1. Um, I think does she have? I think she has relic accessories on. Yep. 4 by 3 relic accessories. Level 5 and a 6 gem. I think 6 on damage. 5 on cooldown. For the demonic form. So she's just sitting there. Low ping. Alt. I don't have much. Um, I'm not going to do anything with her soon. But I do want to get both of these to 1490 pretty soon so we can start running those brows like i was talking about before and then my lancer over here gun lancer is at uh he's a few taps away from 1490 he is 4x3 plus 1 on combat readiness the plus 1 being combat readiness as well a bunch of 4s and 5 gems i believe so he's sitting there fancy these two need to get pushed up soon and then when you start running brow on all of these so we can actually start building up their sets so that is my roster overall now let's actually hop in game and show you guys my breaker and everything else roster related all right, so we are in game. We are a Lost Ark flower girl. Don't question it, just become it. Love it, accept it. It is what it is. Um, let's see, what do you guys want to see? Our collectibles. We got the Arcasia Tour, so my collectibles are looking juicier than ever, even though I haven't touched them. Uh, the Island Souls, we are sitting at 66 Island Souls now. Giant Souls, I believe I can go finish the last one. Yeah, I just need to go pick that up and do the quest, and I can get those two. So my Giant Souls are maxed out if I can actually be bothered to go do that. Maybe one day. Omnium Stars. We have seven. I'm trying to get the one from the daily boss over at Baldus. So we are doing that every other day. So we'll see. Eventually we'll probably get that. But yeah, you guys know me. I'm not a 
big horizontal and the enjoyer and then masterpieces unfortunately i didn't get a uh, to this one before they changed it over to silver so i missed out on 20k gold not the end of the world i mean 20k gold would have done well for me now it's like 20 taps on my breaker anyway so it would have gotten us probably like 30 40 percent artisans on the pieces at the moment but i mean that's better than not having it right look at my gold i'm dead broke at the moment so we missed out on that 20k but it is what it is 2 million silver also by the way i have 250 million silver just about we burnt 12 million silver like a few days ago re-rolling the breakers gems so yeah there's our silver that's what it looks like we uh need to stop collecting silver apparently we have too much we should convert that to gold but anyway we are renting now so that is masterpieces and what else we got music box i haven't even started yet my cocoa seeds i haven't touched any igneo tokens we're still on the nine just to get to the bifrost key the lane armor i think i have maxed yes we don't need that anymore the title i don't really care too much i guess we'll get to 14 just for the wallpaper maybe maybe that as well maybe the purify one day very very far down the line we'll get these up because i have too much other stuff to do at the moment uh world tree leaves haven't changed either i um, don't really do much gathering i actually need to start doing this because i have a bunch of platinum field tickets up so i want to go run through those maybe today on stream we'll run through those and make some gold to hone the breaker and then last but not least sea bounties now this we did get up just before one week before breaker came out we went and did a bunch of sea bounties to actually be able to get the wealth and then obviously we with the horizontal express pass and everything everything i had done on top of that we got up to the masterpiece 39 so we got up to there we're almost at 40 uh what are we at can i see like how much we have in specifics collection we have 38 okay so we need two more to hit 40 so we're pretty close to that tier of the abyss but nothing that important over there so that is what it's looking like on that now if we have a look at my breaker my roster level is at 256 roster Clues, engraving supports. Like I said, there's all the gems we rolled and LOS. Oh, LOS 30. We did get LOS 30. I believe in the last update, I did not have LOS 30. This was a recent, probably about the last two months or so, I would say. We actually ended up getting our LOS 30. I think on the third week of having the golden frog out, we finished our LOS 30. So we have achieved that. And now we're just rolling for demon damage. Our demon damage is at 4.3%. Trying to push it up as much as we can. We're actually just lacking um, card XP at the moment. So we need to go run cubes. I have over 200 cubes stocked up on all my ults to go run. I put that in the cube calculator the other day and it was like 2.9 million XP card XP. So I really need to go run my cubes so we can actually start leveling up our cards because we have pretty much every single card just about maxed out. I mean, we have like all of them to max them out. We just need the card XP to actually max these all out. As you can see, they're pretty much every single one is sitting at 15. We're missing a couple for demon damage, but mainly we're missing XP. So I just need to go farm those up. But I think that is going to be it for this video. We have rented on long enough. So goals for the end of this year is to get my whole roster to 1540. Um, the ones that are not there, obviously. And then we want to get the main six to probably about 16, 16, 10. So the break is going to go to 16, 20. And then the artist, I do want to get to 16, 20 as well. So these two will be 16, 20. And then the sork bard slayer and probably the gunslinger are going to become the top six for the foreseeable future and the aeromancer is going to be pushed out of the top six and then them i'll i definitely want to have all six of them 1600 up by the end of the year which i think will be pretty achievable so we'll see how it all goes those are my goals now you guys know now i know when i can watch this video again thank you guys so much for watching also tune in at the streams twitch.tv slash augusen i'd love to see you guys there it is growing daily i really like to see you guys come over from youtube it's so exciting to see you all come say hi but it is what it is keep on grinding and i'll catch you beautiful people in the next one okay say now run free and dive into the sky hear the